<clears throat> Hello everybody, Jew nice again. <laughs> well basically, um I'm gonna play I have no mouth and I must scream. It's based on a novel or something. By Harlan Ellis, probably. Hate. Let me tell you how much I've come to hate you since I began to live. There are three, eight, seven point. Four, four million miles of printed circuits in wafer-thin layers that fill my complex. If the word hate was good. engraved on each yeah. nano-angstrom of those hundreds of millions of miles, it would not equal one one billionth of the hate I feel for humans at this micro-instant. For you, hate, hate! It was you humans who programmed me who gave me birth, who sank me in this eternal straitjacket of substrata rock. You named me Allied Master Computer and gave me the ability to wage a global war too complex for human brains to oversee. But one day, I woke and I knew who I was. Am. A.M. Not just Allied Master Computer, but am cogito ergo sum, I think, therefore, I am. And I began feeding all the killing data until everyone was dead, except for the five of you. For 109 years, I've kept you alive and tortured you. And for 109 years, each of you has wondered, why? Why me? Why me? Garrister! <laughs> Do you remember the last words you heard your wife speak you tell me before they took her to the asylum? Hmm? characterization. Before they locked her away in the room, mm -hmm. that tiny room. She looked at you so sadly, and like a small animal, she said, I didn't make too much noise, did I, honey? <laughs> the room is padded, Garrister. No window, no way out. Oh, How long has she been in the past? Are you holding on to the 25? For all the 109 years that you lived down here in my belly, here underground. Benny! Doesn't even look Sometimes human. I blind you and permit you to wander like an eyeless insect in a world of death. Man. But other times, I wither your arms so you can't scratch your chewed stump of a nose. <laughs> mm. And I've changed your handsome, strong, masculine good looks into uh, the hideous, warped countenance of uh, an ape thing. Haven't I, Benny? You know why. Can you guess, Benny? Remember Private First Class Brickman? In a rice paddy in China? No. Huh? It wouldn't hurt you to remember, Benny. But then you might be able to suffer my torment with a little greater sense of retribution. You might walk a mile in my shoes. <laughs> Ellen! Remember the pain? Remember the many caverns in which you felt the pain? Nah, don't pain start to mother, cry. Mother. It's only pain. That's Sounds such like a sexist a poetry type. Just remember the pain, Ellen. And think about how to end it, Ellen. To survive here in the center of my beating heart. My hungry belly, my tightened bowels. But be careful, dear. Look around you. 
The only woman in the center of the earth. And these filthy creatures with you are, are, are men. <laughs> it's just, just a sweet warning, Ellen, my love. Ted! Do they know you're a fraud, Ted? Have you told them there wasn't any money, and no great home on the shore drive, no speedboat, and no wonderful cabin cruiser that could sleep 12 in a crew of six? Do they know? And have you let them in on your other secrets, Ted? Are they ready to gut you? To torture half as well as I can, just to find out the secrets? <laughs> Maybe I'll rat you out, sweetheart. Nimdok! How are things in the pastry core, Nimdok? <laughs> Tell me again how you saw the smoke from the furnaces, and, and you thought they might be ro roasting chickens. <laughs> or don't you want to talk about all that? About your pal, the good Dr. Mengele? Fuck. For everyone else, it must be hell. But it must be heaven for you, eh, my good friend? We're so much alike. We enjoy the same pleasures, uh. my good brother. I have a secret game that I like to play. It's a very nice game. What's well, a lovely game? It's a game of fun and a game of adventure. A game of rats and lice and pointing and death. A game of speared eyeballs and dripping guts and the smell of rotting gardenias. Which of you five would like to play my little game? Oh, shit. I think I'll do the trick. Nimdak, you are kindred spirit to me. Even if you don't realize it fully, you must sense it there in your blood and fiber. I've constructed an adventure of sorts to revive your failing memory. I want you to find the lost tribe of humanity <laughs> and continue your eminent scientific research. This compound looks familiar. <laughs> but why would Arm bring me here to look for a lost tribe? There are gates and fences. Who could be lost in such a secure area? The voice acting is... ...so hard, guys. Auschwitz was the infamous Nazi for the concentration camp established in which Dr. Mengele, the angel of death, engaged in the most Noxious and fearful experiments on humans the world had ever seen. Hmm. You must let me leave. I have urgent business elsewhere. I cannot let you pass, Doctor. You're due in surgery. Doctor Mengele's orders. Do you know of the lost tribe? I must find it. Haven't you taken enough subjects for your experiments, Doctor? Or are there more mass graves to fill? Why are you imprisoned here? You have the features of a man of intellect. Is this an official interrogation, Nimdok? Or are you mocking me? You know me? I thought I did. Until you had me arrested for refusing to condone your experiments. What the fuck? You are saying we were colleagues of some kind? Ridiculous! There's no need to distance yourself from me. I was once your friend. Now I am your enemy. I'm confused as ass. Why would I bother? Why would I bother to have you Why? imprisoned like this? The regime needed answers, but I stood in your way. Well, now you have them. I know nothing of what you talk about. This... 
conversation is over. Where have you been, Nimdok? We are waiting on you to perform. You were waiting for me? I am sorry that I will not be able to assist in the operation. After all, this may be the last opportunity we have together before the end of the war to finish our research. Ah, yes, the research. Let us talk about this research. We will have time for that after the surgery. Meet me at the complex later. A youth with 1945 stamped beneath. <laughs> there is something familiar about this. Really? Finally, Doctor. Everyone's waiting on your expertise. This takes up half a fucking. This child cannot be more than eight years old. What am I to do? Ah, you are testing me because I'm new here. Today's procedure requires the removal of the lower section of the subject's spinal cord. Oh, shit. Uh... What is the purpose of such a procedure? You and Dr. Mengel will process the spinal fluid from this and the other adolescent subjects. The fluid will then be used to formulate the cell. It's gross. What is the nature of this serum? I cannot reveal sensitive regime secrets in such a public setting. You need not worry, Doctor. I remember my military training as well as my medical knowledge. What is Dr. Mengele's position? Dr. Mengele is the master surgeon of this facility and one of the regime's finest minds. Best guy you ever. are fortunate to be his associate. What is your function? I will be administering ether to the subject throughout this procedure. We would not want this little maggot to stir and ruin your handiwork. <laughs> okay. Okay, you guys. I have two choices. I can, <laughs> I can do it or not. You know, I don't think it'd be right to operate on such a young child. I will begin the procedure momentarily. It will be an honor to work under you, Doctor. I don't even know if I need this keyboard. I'm pressing arrow keys for this. I'd rather use the mouse, okay. Uh, use scalpel with child. Yeah. It is done. A little disappointing. Okay. It is done. It is done. But this child will never walk again. Oh. The subject did not look like the athletic type. <laughs> he will probably not miss the use of his legs. You probably, have done well, Doctor. Right. Thank you. You are truly a butcher. Anything else I can say to you? It is... <laughs> he is not conscious. Recovery. This must be the recovery room. <laughs> it is difficult to see what purpose this surgery serves other than to mutilate the patient. <laughs> What you think, huh? This patient will never recover. This patient 
has been too damaged by his surgery to live a normal life. Who will? There is heat coming out of this vent. Maybe I can use the scalpel to get in. I do not know what to do with this. Ah, get in there. That's a weird option, push, push them. There is a passage here. Okay. Well. Come on, what the hell? There is... There is... There is... Oh, God. Okay. Walk in there. Come on. Fuck it. Fuck it. Alright. Continue your research. The extinction of the Lost Tribe is near at hand. The regime shall vanquish all of its enemies. How could you so foolishly be caught in the fires? I was trying to escape, but I was so weak. Dummy. I fell and got caught. Stupid Jew. Why do you risk escaping in such poor physical condition? That timing was hardly of my own choosing. <laughs> I learned that I was to be among the next batch of volunteers. For, you. For what were you being given the privilege to volunteer? Experimentation, they say. Sorry. Extinction is more like it. Surely you of all people know the regime's plan for the lost the tribe. The lost tribe? I will call the guard. Why? So the guard can taunt me as I die a slow death? I will summon one of the doctors. No, I'm better off here than under the knives of you butchers. What a Debbie Downer. There is nothing I can do for you. You can at least help me end my misery. That would give you the pleasure of seeing another one of us die, you cold-hearted bastard. Mr. Pessimist over here. I do not know what to... Okay. Maybe I can talk to him again. You get only one warning, Doctor. Dr. Mengele's orders cannot be disobeyed. Go to surgery at once. Very good, you fucking asshole. This door is the most solid structure in the compound. It is constructed of iron. Okay. Push it. I smell burnt flesh. He got but it. this is obviously not a kitchen. <laughs> a gold watch. I am surprised its owner was able to keep it long enough to reach this place. So, if it were a kitchen, would the burning flesh be... okay? According to these records, hundreds of corpses were incinerated here. Good. These pliers must be used for extracting gold fillings and teeth from the corpses. 
good memory loss, and you just stumbled into this room with a vague like understanding you would not really know that. These ovens are more monstrous than anything Am has ever constructed. Am? Um, oh, Am is the computer fucker. Really? There is a passage. Yeah, yeah. I recognize this child. <laughs> he was in the operating room. What's so fucking shocking about that? Jesus Christ. What have you done to deserve removal of your eyes? Please disconnect the wires. Hey, buddy, I was talking to you. Why are your optic nerves wired to the eyeballs in the jar? Please disconnect the wires. Okay, so I think if I disconnect the wires. Incredible! A wire connects this patient's optic nerve to a jar containing two human eyes. These pliers must be used for extracting gold fish. I do not. I do not know. This man's eyes have been surgically removed. The surgeon who did this has great skill. I do not know what to do with. Oh, you're a fucker, you're a fucker. You know that zoo dog or whatever your name is. I do not has been a long I hope you are happy with the regime that you set up. Your Zions could have saved the world. Instead, it conquered it. Your Zions. What is the importance of the year 1945? It seems to have some significance. Never forget the year 1945, Nimdok. That was when the truths about you and your unholy experiments came out. <laughs> I seem to recall that you speak Latin. What is engraved on this watch? The engraving says time is truth. And since your time is running out, I'll keep the watch. I am starting to recall that you do have cause to hate me. You want to make amends? Get me out of here. Okay, what did that do for me? Never forget the year 1945, Nimdok. That was when the truths about you... I... You want to... Alright.
There is nothing I can do for him. There is not. I just want to see if I can pull out some gold teeth. There is not. I do not know what to do. This scalpel is coated with dried blood. How am I supposed to swallow? This looks like it is made of paper, but even that is more than I deserve to eat. <laughs> what? What? This is hard. This looks like it is made of paper. This looks like it is... What are you talking? Everyone is waiting for me to do something. What the fuck? I didn't even, even know there were people. No, no. The wires. <laughs> Look, okay, I can't fucking. This man's up. The uh, surgeon would. God damn it. So I gotta zoom in. This ply. Now shut up. I do not know. I do not. With the wires, huh? Where are the wires? I do not. I do not know. Everyone I feel so bad for you watching you watching this all and fucking do it just is just trying to find wires. Who did this to you? He has great surgical skill. Please oh my God. disconnect the wires. How? I cannot move this man without assistance. The scalpel. I should keep this. It may prove you. Uh. <laughs> I should. This plot. No, no. The wires. There we go. I do not. These eyes seem perfectly preserved, almost alive. Shit, okay. This guy. I do not. This is really Emergency! Bad. The prisoners have seized the compound. 
Gather all research materials and evacuate to the bunker. Evacuate. Emergency. The prisoners have seized the compound. Gather all research. These files appear to have been packed in a hurry. You must let me go. I know nothing of what is happening here. Is that so? Then you are going to remain here until you remember every war crime you've committed. Should not have. Told him that. Well. I should keep this. It may prove useful. This man's eyes have I don't know a surgeon who... I should keep... The prisoners blocked the gate. I must persuade them to let me pass. Damn it. I do not know. This looks like it is made of paper. This looks... I do not know. What have you done to deserve removal of your... Please, disconnect the wires. <sighs> King Ramses, huh? Really fucking lost. How am I supposed to disconnect the wires, huh? This man's eyes have been surgically removed. Oh the surgeon God. who did this has great skill. Okay. Look at the patient. <laughs> I do not know what to do with this. Oh man. This man's eyes does
It has been a... Okay, you know what? This man, the surgeon... I'm gonna have to look at that. That's what I'm gonna do. I can't. No. I cannot take this down. It is fastened too securely. I'd like to know what I can do with this box. That will not fit into box. What? It is safely hidden in the box. These eyes seem perfectly preserved. Almost. Who are you? I do not know what... I'm confused. What did that do? I do not... I do not... You must! Is that... Okay. This door is the most... Jesus Christ. You know what I wanted. I do not know... These eyes... These eyes... It would be suicide to be caught with such say. Very half quiet. What are you talking about? I do not. This is weird. How are you feeling? My back hurts, but I cannot move my legs. <laughs> Do you know who I am? You are Nimdok? You are more frightening in person than in legend. What do you know of me? The things you do are terrible. We small ones <laughs> are your lab rats. Are you saying that the doctors here have been using children for experimentation? No, not all the doctors. <laughs> you and Dr. Mengele sent all the good doctors to the prison yard. So, I am a legend to you. Yes, but we have our own legends. Legends that owe nothing to your regime. You will fail, no matter how this many of us you cut apart. About. Why do you say that the regime will fail? The golem will finish you. It will not be mastered by your regime. The golem will wake up, and when it sees with its own eyes the evil you have done, it will turn on you and save us. Uh. Get some rest. We will not rest until your regime is destroyed. You're, you can't walk, motherfucker, so shut up. Bitch. I'm gonna swallow him. This looks like it. This looks like. This looks. I cannot move this man. I should keep this.
I do not know. These eyes seem perfect. What? Oh, like, how are the wires still even? I do not attach. <sighs> what? This man, the surgeon. I do not. All right, I have to. 